It's every guitarist's favorite time of year. Christmas! As all guitars know, Christmas is a great excuse to get some new guitar gear. But for our loved ones who are trying to get us that perfect gift, buying guitar gear can get pretty intimidating. The stuff gets expensive, there's so many brands, so many products, it's hard to know which way to go. That's why I put together this list of my top 2023 guitar gear favorites. We've got stuff on here for every budget. Literally, there's things on here for $5. Everything I talk about today will be linked in the description below. Oh, I almost forgot. Today I'm going to share with you my super secret hack to helping your loved ones get you the exact piece of guitar gear you want. So be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for that. Every guitarist is either losing picks constantly or they're just playing on picks that are way too worn down. So purchasing a pack of your guitarist's favorite set of picks is the ideal $5 stocking stuffer. Every guitarist would totally appreciate this. And if you have no idea the kind of picks the guitarist in your life uses, literally all you have to do is grab a pair of their jeans, go into the tiny little jean pocket, and I guarantee you will find what you're looking for. Seriously, look, right now. This one, the little pocket, and reach in and look at that. We can see that I use green Tortex and look at how worn down that pick is. I need new picks. Guitar strings are another amazing gift that every guitarist could use more of. They range from five to 15 bucks a set in most cases. I think just about every guitarist would agree that the feeling of playing on new strings is the most fun. And a new set of strings is also probably the easiest way to add a little bit of life back into your guitar tone. Guitarists are definitely more touchy about the types of strings they use. So in this case, probably just better to ask what strings do you use? I happen to really like these D Dario EXL 110s. This is just the average normal run of the mill string. You can usually get a pack of 10 of these for about 50 bucks. Pro tip here, make sure that you not only get the brand right, but the gauge. So if you're gonna buy strings from me, it's Diodario's the brand and then 10s is what these are called. See, the thinnest string is the 10. I'm always losing my capo. Here's some footage of me looking for my capo mid show because I can't find it and I need it to play the next song, which is an A flat and requires open voice. If you're a guitarist, you know not the best situation to be in. These Diodario Pro Capos are pretty great and they're only 20 bucks. They're lightweight, they're sturdy, and I really like that they have this adjustable knob here. You just slip the capo on, take this knob, and you do a couple twists, and then we're in business. Check it out, see? If you're a pedal guy like me, you could probably always use some more patch cables like this. Some guitarists are gonna be very hardcore about having soldered patch cables, which I totally understand, but earlier this year, Rockstock Pedals sent me a solderless patch cable kit that is actually really great. This kit comes with everything you need to make your patch cables. You get 10 cable heads, 10 cable plugs, you get 10 feet of cable. You even get a cutting tool. So no more of that holding the wire out with a pair of scissors or a box cutter and just praying to God you don't chop your finger off in the process. This kit will only run you $39.99, which is an amazing deal. I've used other solderless patch cable kits in the past that were like 60 to 80 bucks, and they were honestly not as nice as this one, and they didn't even come with all the tools you need. I think these cables both look great and sound great. If you're a guitarist, then I know you know about the JHS Nauticlon, and if you don't know, JHS made us a solderless, build your own clone of the legendary Klon Centaur. I put it together in about 30 minutes with my dog, and yes, breaking the circuit board was pretty terrifying. <laughs> but the instructions are really clear and it's a ton of fun. I've actually played on a real $5,000 Klon Centaur and I gotta say that this version sounds exactly the same. In fact, you kind of get more because it comes with the Shamrock mod. It's a legendary guitar overdrive sound and it's super easy to put together, no prior pedal assembly required. Now we're getting to some pretty fun stuff. This is the Sonic Cake Matrix Box 2. It's a complete rig in one for only 229 bucks. It has 63 amps, 61 cabs, over 93 effects pedal simulations, 198 preset slots, and so much more. And all that's just guitar speak for this one unit can kind of do it all. It can do all your pedal board needs, it can do all your amp needs. All you gotta do is plug your guitar into this and it can go straight into your computer, the PA, whatever it may be. And I know what you're thinking, okay? I'm gonna address the elephant in the room. How good can this thing be for 230 bucks? And that's exactly what I was thinking when Sonic Cake sent it to me, but you gotta hear this thing.
If you want to grab a MatriBox 2, the link is in the description below, and you can use my code JUSTIN10 to get 10% off your order. The gear trend of 2023 seems to be replacing your guitar amp, but for those of us who still love the tone and the feel of playing on a real tube amp, which based off the comments seems to be quite a few of you. The Two Notes Torpedo Captor is the box for you. For 270 bucks, this thing does a lot. It's a reactive load box, it's an attenuator, it's an amp DI, and a cabinet sim, all in one portable package. And for all the non-guitarists out there, I'm gonna make this simple. This box lets you play your tube amp silently or just quietly. You can either take the signal out of the back as an attenuator, which lowers the volume by 20 dB, which is significant. <laughs> You can also take your amp signal as a line out so you could run it into something like a quad cortex, an IR loader, or one of the many programs with cabinet simulations onto your computer. What's cool about that is you can run your tube amp with as hot of settings as you need to get that sweet spot tone. And it could be completely silent. You could just be listening on headphones through your audio interface, or you could be as loud as you wanna be on your monitors. Ultimately, if you're thinking about buying this for the guitarist in your life, this is also a gift for you because you're not gonna hear that screaming loud guitar 24 7 anymore. Turn that crap off! I love it because it makes using your tube amp at home much more practical and allows me to incorporate the tube amp into my digital setup really really seamlessly. <laughs> and feel of analog tube amps with the convenience and functionality of digital. Back to the amp replacement train. For 400 bucks, you can get a variety of amp pedals. I went from being a hardcore amp guy to pretty much an ampless guy overnight after trying out the Strymon Iridium and Walrus Audio ACS-1. The Walrus Audio ACS-1 is my favorite amp pedal on the market. I loved it so much, I made it a permanent part of my pedal board. It's true stereo, meaning you could run two different amps and two different cabs at the same time, which is a really sweet feature. It sounds and feels a lot like a real amp, and it takes pedals very similarly to my actual tube amp. There's a ton of great amp pedals in this category now, and they're all about the same price point. So you have the Walrus Audio ACS-1, the Strymon Iridium. There's a bunch of universal audio amp pedals right now. They're all great. If you're looking for an amp replacement or simply a way to just have total volume control over your rig, then an amp pedal might be the gift from Santa you need. Now, Here's the big gear purchase that changed everything for me in 2023. I joined the leagues of guitarists using a modeling unit. There's so many great choices now. You got the Line 6 Helix, you got the FM9 by Fractal, you got the Kemper, you got the Quad Cortex, you got the Head Rush. There's the Tone Master Pro. Like every day it seems like a new modeler comes out. My personal favorite is the Neural DSP Quad Cortex. It did take me a few months to fall in love with the unit, but I love it now and I thoroughly enjoyed the process. The touchscreen user interface face is really intuitive. It comes with more amps, cabs, and effects than you're ever gonna need. The capture technology, especially for pedals, is pretty cool. <laughs> and with the right settings, this thing sounds as good, if not better, than my pedal board and amp. I have a couple presets available for the Quad Cortex. The one you just heard was the JM Pedalboard preset. You can grab it through the link in the description below. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, how to get gear you want for Christmas. The secret lies with a little app you may have heard of called Pinterest. What I've found is that most loved ones of guitars do want to get guitar gear. They just don't know where to begin or what anything is. Once I started creating specific pins and sending links of my wishlist board to my family members, I started to get guitar gear that I actually wanted for Christmas. Let's make a pin together and I'll show you just how easy it is. So I've made a board here. I'm calling it 2023 Guitar Needs. This is the strategy part of it, okay? We're gonna make it as easy for people to find the stuff we want as possible. So we're gonna go down here, create a pin. We're gonna do save. 
from URL. And we're gonna look up what we need. Wow, this is a killer deal. Go here, we're gonna copy our link, go back to our Pinterest. I like to pick a picture. Okay, so I'm gonna pick that one, add one pin, and then I might add a title here like guitar strings. And then I'm gonna press save. So it's really cool about this when you send it to whoever you're hoping will buy you said items, they can click on the pin right here. And then look, oh, there's a direct link to it, right? See, they click here and then boom. The exact item you want, it's just one click away. Just take 30 minutes to pin some items that you know you're gonna want and put a range of products, not only $1,600 and up. Of course, if you get only $1,600 and up Christmas gifts, then like more power to you. But my guess is most of us, myself included, are not getting that price range for gifts. So put variety, put the strings, the picks, the capos, cheap stuff, maybe one stretch thing, couple stretch things, put it together, send it to your family members and see what happens. And that's a wrap for today. Get it, wrap like presents. Let me know what your favorite gear of 2023 was in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new and I will catch you next time. Merry Christmas. I'm so excited for Christmas to get my Justin Muncy presets off Etsy. So excited.